Whenever my friends were mad at me, the first thing they'll pull out would be like, well, at least I don't have a big leg because I never really felt pretty. Hey everybody, it's your girl, Mahogany Jeter, and I am here with 49. So today I'll be talking about lymphedemia. It is a medical condition where the system in your body, your lymphatic system, doesn't flush out fluids properly. So it kind of just like stays and build up. No, I cannot get any surgery. I believe I was diagnosed with lymphedemia at birth. Right when I came out, my mom told me they noticed that my footprints, one was bigger than another. In my childhood, I would say I was pretty much depressed as a kid because I never really felt pretty and all I could pretty much remember is everyone staring at me so you know mentally as a kid that's pretty rough in school you know I had friends but it's like whenever my friends were mad at me the first thing they'll pull out would be like well at least I don't have a big leg but honestly that was the only thing they could say about me really couldn't say I was ugly I'm just saying, not being able to wear, you know, like pants or shoes or pretty much stuff like other kids wear. And I always felt like, I always had this feeling of like wanting to hide as a kid. And it's like, my family was very supportive. Like, of course, I have a very loving and supportive family. I would say it was depressing and kind of mentally challenging as a kid, but I'm a whole lot better now. The health risk with lymphedema is because with lymphedema, your body is already containing a bunch of fluid. You are prone to get skin infections, such as cellulitis. And I'm telling y'all, I don't wish that on my worst enemy. Because I've had cellulitis, and when I've had it, your body temperature goes all the way up. The hard times I've had with my condition is honestly, I would have to say, I get a lot of stares. I do, I get a lot of stares. Probably some finger pointing, you know, like, you know, some sh sh sh. So I had a period of time where I wasn't really taking care of myself. Wasn't compressing my leg, I wasn't drinking water, and my leg was getting really, really big. Cellulitis was kind of like a wake up call. I had gotten the opportunity to model when someone wanted to take pictures of me and this was my first time, I guess, putting myself out there to the world and seeing like how many people it helped. And I mostly got like a lot of support from it, which I was really happy about because I was so nervous. Honestly, I just fell in love with it. Like, of course, love the body that you are in, but also take care of your health. People that also had the same condition and relate to how I felt started coming out to me and it lets me know that I am doing something right. And it's helping so many people, not only with lymphedema or without, accept themselves and realize like how beautiful they truly are. Like, like that's all I wanna do. I feel like there is so many different beautiful, unique bodies out there. You got your beautiful plus size, you have your petite, you have your vitiligo. There's so many other forms of body positivity that I feel like also needs to be celebrated. Shopping with lipedema is not easy. And I get asked a lot, how do I shop for pants? Like that's the most common question I get. I get a bigger size of pants where they're really baggy on the right side of my body that doesn't have lymphedema, but they will fit perfectly on the left side, the side that does have it. With shoes, I've never worn heels or flip-flop. I've only worn tennis shoes and I've worn men's tennis shoes. And they're usually two different sizes. With shopping, it's not easy, but it's like pretty much have no choice but to make it work. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. <laughs>